Hey everybody, what is going on? Welcome to part three of our OpenCV with Python tutorial video series. In this part, what we're gonna be talking about is drawing on images. So up to this point, you've been shown how to load images, how to load videos, and you've even been showed how to load images into say matplotlib, and you can plot and create lines and stuff like that. But it turns out that OpenCV actually has some drawing functionality built in for you. It's actually gonna be a lot more efficient than using matplotlib. So that's what we're gonna be covering here. Most of the time when people wanna like create a rectangle around a face, let's say, they're gonna be using OpenCV, not drawing in matplotlib. So uh, first of all, as usual, we're gonna import numpy as mp, import cv2, and we're ready to rumble. We need a sample image or just something to load. Uh, you can use that watch.jpg or use your own image, does not matter. So image is equal to cv2.mread. And what is the image that we're gonna read? It's a watch.jpg and we're gonna read it in as a color. Now, uh, what we're going to go ahead and do is uh, let's just start by drawing a line. We're going to say cv2.line and then where do we want to draw the line on the image? Where does the line start? We'll say 0, 0. Where does the line end? We'll say 150, 150. Now, of course, depending on the size of your image, you may or may not, you know, you can use different numbers there. Uh, and then what is the color of the line? Well, we want a white lines. So the way that colors work in computers is they work by light. Okay, so in the world, in the physical realm, light uh, or a color is like negative. Okay, so if you, the more, like let's say you've got a green paintbrush, the more green that you, you paint, you paint some green, you paint some more green, you paint some more green, it gets darker. In the world of computers and positive, uh, the more green that you add, actually, the brighter the green gets. So um, the same is true uh, here. So normally in, com in computers, it's RGB, okay? Uh, but with uh, OpenCV, we work with BGR, which is blue, green, red. So for blue, if you wanted something to be totally blue, you would do 255, 0, 0. If you wanted something to be... Um, so this is BGR, so if you wanted it green, it would be 255, 0, 0. And then if you want it to be red, it would be 0, 0, 255, and then you can mix in between. So if you want white, it would be 255, 255, 255. If you wanted black, it would be 0, 0, 0. And eventually, when we get into like thresholding and stuff like that, we're going to basically convert everything to things like 0 or 255 and so on. So anyways, we'll keep it a white line for now. And uh, then you've got an optional line width. So we'll say 15 pixels. Sorry if that was loud through the microphone. <laughs> now we're gonna go cv2.m show. And we drew on the image, we'll just call it image. And the image that we wanna show is, oops, image. And then we're just gonna cv2.wait key. This just waits for any key to happen. And then cv2.destroy all windows. Save and run it. And we have cv2 has no attributes. Uh, I didn't capitalize the K in key. So let me fix that. Try again, sir. There we go. Okay, so we've got the image and we've got the little, this. Actually, it's not a very little line at all for, for the image. But anyways, got the line there. Good to go. Press a key. It's gone. Okay. Turns out we can actually draw more than lines. I know. You didn't see that coming, I bet. You can draw a rectangle. Arguably, probably the most common thing that you're going to draw. So how do we draw um, a rectangle? We can say cv2.rectangle. Where do we want to draw it? Image. When do we want it? Now. No. Uh, then uh, we have... Okay, so this will be the image. Then you've got the top left coordinate. So let's say 1525. And then you've got the bottom right coordinate. So 200, 150. Again, if you, um, it, it, depending on the size of your image, you might use different coordinates there. And then finally, um, you know, the, the width, we'll do five. Okay. And, um, Oh, we're forgetting color. So then we pass a color before the line went. So it's a lot like the line here, right? So the line, where does it start? Where does it end? And arguably, this is where the, the rectangle start and end, if you were like drawing it with your mouse. 
Uh, and then color, let's give it a green color. So 0, 255, 0. Okay, that should be good enough. Let's go ahead and run that bad boy. Look at us. So we got the line, then the square. And notably, obviously, the line was drawn first. Therefore, the square goes literally over that line because it was drawn second. How about a circle? So, as you might be able to surmise, it would be cv2.circle. Where do we want the circle? Image. And then here, this is where is the center of the circle. We'll say 163. And then what is the radius of the circle? We'll say 55. What is the color of the circle? Let's say 0, 0, 255. So that will be red. And then here you can have a line width, but I'm going to show you something else. Negative 1. That is going to actually fill in the circle, right? So a negative line width, we'll just fill it right in. It's cool. So we'll close that. And um, now we're going to talk about uh, polygons. So the last shape. <laughs> so uh, for polygons, you've got basically the, the way a polygon is going to work is you've got points. Okay, and with the polygon, it's going to connect all those dots and optionally close the polygon. So uh, first, we're going to have a list of points. You know, you could, in theory, throw this list of points in the polygon um, function, basically from CV2, but it would make the function like really long. So we're going to say PTS equals NP dot array. So it's just a NumPy array of a bunch of points. Okay. So the points here, I'm just going to use 10 and 5. We'll do 20, 30, uh, 7, 70, 20, uh, 50, 10, and that'll be enough. And then we're going to say the data type here will numpy int 32. Now, if you peruse the OpenCV documentation, they suggest that you convert the shape here. So points equals points dot reshape uh, negative one, one and two. So this reshapes the array to a one by two. However, that is basically already the case. So I don't see the need for that. Uh, again, it was in the documentation. So I'll just leave it there just in case any, anything breaks for anyone else. Uh, but I don't believe that's necessary. And then we're going to say cv2.polylines. Where do we want the polylines? Image. What are the points to those polylines? They are not pots. They are points. And true there. And uh, the true here is whether or not we want to connect the final point to the first point. Okay. So you could have polylines and like make like a, a rainbow. And, or you can have polygon lines that actually finish the job and make a real polygon. What is the color? We're going to say 0, 255, 255, and then the line width will be a 3. Let's see what happens. Only two non-keywords accepted. What happened? Are we going to have to convert this to a NumPy? I'm pretty sure I never had to do that. I'm going to be pretty angry if I'm going to have to eat. Nope. Okay, hold on. What's happening? Uh, what an am oh, Okay, I see what's happening. Okay. At least I don't have to eat my words. Okay, so NumPy Ray. Uh, for real this time, a two by one. <laughs> okay. Now, try again. We All right, there is our polygon. You can see it up in the upper left corner. Now, um... I'm curious. I never tested this, so I'm not sure what's going to happen. But what if? Okay, so for example, we do a negative 1 here. That should fill in our polygon. Oh, I guess it won't. Darn. <laughs> I was really hoping. Uh, the goal, I, or the, uh, the test I was going to do was going to be if you filled in the polygon but didn't close the polygon. I wanted to know what would happen there. But I don't get to find out because it won't let me. So... Cool. Okay. So, so we know how to draw uh, all kinds of shapes now. Uh, the final thing that's useful to be able to do is to write. So let's go ahead and cover how to write. So first of all, we have to have kind of two things when we write. We need a font type. So generally, you just specify the font first, and we'll say CV2. There are a few fonts, but we're going to use the Hershey Simplex 
Sounds awfully close to another type of simplex with an H. Moving along, CV2 puts text, and we're gonna say, where do we wanna put that text? Right on the image. What does that text say? Uh, open CV tuts. And then, um, where are we starting that text? Uh, 0130. What is the font that we're gonna use? We're using font for our font. What is the size? I am not quite sure how these sizes translate in general because they're actually quite large compared um, to their number. I, I don't know. I'll show you. You'll see what I'm saying in a minute. And we'll give it some color. Uh, this would be spacing, I believe, between the letters. And then cv2.lineaa, give it some attempted anti-aliasing. Uh, good enough. All right, let's go ahead and run that, see how we did. Oh, more errors. Simplex. I can't type today, y'all. I'm sorry. Simplex. All righty. So there we have OpenCV Tuts. Beautiful, nicely done, nicely done. That's size one. Okay, so so what happens when we say, I don't know, size five? Um, it's huge. It's like off the screen. I'm sorry. Actually, I think I also mistold you guys something. This would be the thickness, I believe, not the spacing. So like five and five. Right. So that's like the thickness, um, which kind of makes sense. But the thickness or the size of the text makes no sense to me. I'm not sure how it translates uh, in OpenCV that that's size one. But anyway, uh, let me see. I'm sorry, I'm doing so much development and research here. Oh, you can use decimals, so that's good. Okay, maybe it's like some ratio of the image or something. I don't know. Okay, so that's drawing, writing, um, and creating polygons, and defying OpenCV documentation. Fight the power, y'all. Okay. So anyway, um, that's it there. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them below. In the next tutorial, what we're going to be talking about is basic image operations that we can do. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Otherwise, thanks for watching.